After spending yesterday resting, today was the first day we decided to venture into downtown Seattle and explore the popular tourist attractions. The day started with our mom preparing some homemade dumplings for breakfast. Getting to eat our mom's cooking again was one of the highlights of this trip, especially after going so many years without it. Per usual, we lounged around for a bit, and then at around noon, we started heading out. For the duration of this three-week trip, we were staying in an Airbnb in Covington, a suburb about one hour away from downtown Seattle. Although getting downtown required a bit of a longer drive, you'll see later in this trip that this suburban location had its perks in other ways. Our first stop was at the iconic Pike Place Market, a market with a wide variety of vendors ranging from seafood to artisan shops. We headed down some stairs we found, which took us right below the market to a waterfront, where we found more street vendors and scenic views. But we were still full from our big breakfast, so we didn't actually get anything to eat. However, it was still fun to just walk around and explore various small shops and boardwalks. We then tried to find the first Starbucks, which opened in Seattle in 1971. Once we found it, we were disappointed to see that the line ended up stretching down the block, so we just quickly peeked our heads in and decided to head out. We then briefly stopped by Cary Park, a viewpoint overlooking downtown Seattle, before making our way to Washington Park Arboretum. It's not recording. This park offered several easy trails to walk through, so we ended up spending an hour on the Azalea Way, a relatively flat stroll through the garden. At 4.30, we started the one hour drive back down to our house in Covington to get some rest after a long day. Wow, medium, medium. Wow. Mm. Wow. The weather in Seattle this time of year was also perfect, so after wrapping up dinner at home, we spent some time in our backyard to finish off the evening. I don't know how to do this.